And we're on the TT stand with John McGuinness. John, uh, are you looking forward to the new Fireblade for next year? I have no idea at the moment because I haven't done a deal, so uh, it would be nice to get on the new Fireblade, but uh, actually first time I've seen it today, well, just when I got in the show and uh, went and had a look at it. So yeah, it's a bit more encouraging, There's a lot of work going on in there, There's a lot of electronics, and quite feels quite small and stuff, so but yeah, I'm looking forward to doing, doing a deal with somebody for next year. It's going to be sad, isn't it, to see the old girl go? Well, it's been a it's been an amazing bit of kit, you know. I've had so much success on it. I think I've maybe won ten TTs on, on that bike and a few Northwest two hundreds and stuff. So, yeah, I mean, it's been part of my life for the last nine years. So, uh, and uh, you know, some fantastic memories. But it's time to move on. It's time that uh, to you know we just need to have a little bit more a little bit more pace in what we've got. And uh, looks like they've worked really hard to get this. So, uh, yeah, we'll see see what the future brings. Now you say you haven't got a deal for next year. Now, I'm assuming then that you're intending to ride next year. Um, do you still think there's a there's a quite a few victories left in John McGuinness? If I didn't believe that, I don't think I'd carry on racing. I mean, I, I, I really do. You know, I think that we've got everything we've got out of myself for the last two years at the TT on what we had. Uh, I think that I don't really want to bow out now. I, I can't not not have a go on the new bike or. Have I gone something else that I feel is capable of winning? So uh, I still believe I can win. You know, there's uh, no doubt about it. You know, I've got the experience, I've still got the passion and and, uh, and the will to win. It's just gonna, you know, I just need to uh, sit round and, and and get something sorted. It's that time of year with them, and everybody's a little bit, you know, the clocks have gone back, it's dark at night. You know, just back from Macau, I'm half asleep. You know, just I just want to, you know, get something together and uh, go racing again. Of course, the other thing at the Classic TT. You finally managed to get the win on the pattern. It kept going. Yeah, do you know, I, you know, if if some butts in racing, you know, but I really, you know, maybe should have had four wins, you know, but it wasn't to be. But it, I, I, I can't lie, it felt really good to win that race. You know, the, there was no prize money. It was just a great, great event. I love working with Roger and his pattern. Uh, the three times it brought down was out of our hands. You know, you just think we didn't deserve that. But this year, the bike never missed a beat. It was flying. And uh, yeah, we you know we smashed all his lap record, and uh, you know I'd, probably our strategy won us the race. You know, Dean was all over me on that MV and stuff. I was like giving it everything, and we were tenths of a second apart. But uh, to get the win was really sweet. I mean, it's another opportunity to ride the track. You know, it was a beautiful day, and four laps, and you know making a lot of noise and and standing on the podium again. It's special. You just mentioned Macau, and can I can I just ask you, has Neil Tuxworth seen that photograph yet? Oh, he's seen the photograph, but Neil, old Tux, bless him. I don't think he's up to speed on the social media, but I mean, I've got 110,000 followers on Twitter, so there's 110,000 people followed it and, and, and seen it. And But a lot of the Honda bosses love that picture. I think that's saved in their memory for, in the memory bank, so they can try and nail him. But, you know, it's sort of Neil Swan song, if you like. It's, it's the last time, well, he says that. He said he's retiring, but I don't, I think there's a bit more left in it. Do, do, do you think he won't be able to stay away very long? Well, it's been Neil's life for a massive period of his life as well, and I think that you know sometimes you want to strangle the man at times, but you know I think yeah we do have a bit of camaraderie with him. We respect him, and he's, he's the most successful team manager uh, around. So uh, you know I think I think he's going to be around for a bit more. But you know we we had a big night that night to be fair, and one of the last man standing was Tux. He fell asleep a couple of times in the, in the, in the bars and clubs, but. He was there at the end, so he did the night shift. Fair play to the old boy. Well, it'd be great to see uh, Neil back, but also, hopefully next year, to see you back on the new Fireblade, John. We look forward to that. So.